Go. Drop and go. Slash and go. All right. Uh, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. We are today's daf kuf lam and gimel. Clad dress. So he's swimming over there. Clad. Where is he? Dress. Dress. Who? Oh, she pants. Very nice. All right. So we got to the top. I think of the page of kuf lam and gimel. Uh, it's not exactly fine. No. Yeah. Last word. Second line. So we will be continuing with yesterday's topic of basically a woman uh, who is married to a man. It's a good thing. And then the husband gives away, but if she is given part of the his estate, right, by, let's say while he's dying, um, so she'll get that. So she's happy with that gift. And then basically with that, is in, in lieu of that, she gives up her uh, her lien uh, uh, for her ksuba on the gift, let's say, that was given to these sons. Mm. She actually gives up her right to, so, right to, I'm saying her right to collect from there, but now was, the lien would be on the other land that he left if he didn't give it all away. But the other stuff that was given away, she could no longer. But let's see what's going on. So, who the Palgino, the Nixay, the Ach, the Isise, there's a person who divided his estate to his wife, let's say she gets half, and to his sons, and Shayer Dikla, and he left one palm tree. Palm tree uh, over. In other words, that uh, half was the stuff was, uh, you know, you know, forty-five percent given to the sons, forty-five percent given to the woman, and then the the tree. Sava Ravina Lamema Lesla Elchad Dikla. She can only go ahead and collect from this one thing. Now she got paid. Now this is Alan. This is why what you're saying is not necessarily technically true. Now if he left over some. So she has given up her right of the lien on the property that was given to the sons. But anything that remained with the husband, i.e. The, this one palm tree, that she could go, go ahead and collect towards her ksuba. Even she got a front, even she got a Even she got a get, right? She, oh, that would, she, she's, she doesn't give up her right to ksuba. She get, just gives up her right to any other land that was given over to others because she herself received land. So I, I, whatever was given out, I'm happy with it. Yeah. Right. So over here, so the car she can only collect, that's her exhibit was $100, and the tree is worth uh, $30. So she can collect $30 out of her $70, and then she's short $70. So Savar Ravina, the mayor Lesla Lachadikla, Summer Lay Raviama, the Ravina, Savina, Savina, Savina. No, E. Lesla Chadikla, right? Understand, if there was no uh, no palm tree at all, uh, now, uh, uh, so now, uh, less love, right? But now, if there was nothing, right, then she also she get nothing. El amigo de Nachte la digla. However, since the fact that she's we still see she wants to go ahead and collect her, um, uh, uh to, to, to right to collect her, uh, 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 Ella, rather you take this. He says, "Migo denachte ledikla, nachte nam lekul nuxi." Since over here that she is able to go ahead and collect from here, that the, so therefore she's able to go ahead and collect from the other property as well. In other words, in this case, she doesn't give up her rights. In other words, she didn't need to go ahead and make any sort of mocha against the other gift because there was a, a, at least some being left over, and there was some left over, so she collected thirty dollars from that one palm tree. She's able to go ahead and collect the other seventy dollars, even from that gift that were given to the sons, because we see that she didn't relinquish the rights to that. So, so too, she didn't relinquish the rights to the uh, other. So, Amar Rafuna Shchimera So, a person who was dying, he left all his chasam to somebody else. So, Royan, we see Im Roy Liarsho. If that person that the person was dying gave it to was let's say it was his son or something, the night Tamishami Rusha. Then he takes it as Yerusha. When the guy dies, all of a sudden it turns into Yerusha from the time when the guy was dying. Let's say the guy was not his son. Let's say it was his neighbor. Then the guy gets it as a maton. Understand? Are you trying to trick us? Are you trying to be deceitful? That one can go ahead and choose uh, who he wants to give. Because you know, in this case, he said if he's royally Yarsha, then he gives it to him. So just say the Lech like Rabbi Yechem Broka. What are you just trying to get around it? Uh, don't be bare, stand up. That's my secret, Rabbi Yechem Broka, because your ruling is like Rabbi Yechem Broka. So he said, no, who does uh, Who does them? So Gwana says, no. Maybe, it was, maybe the case is like this. 
right? Maybe the reason why you didn't say halakha is like Rabbi Yechem and Broca is because maybe the mice was like this. The reason why he said it in a funny way is the person was dying. And he said to him, and so they said, who should your nechassim go to? Who should your say go to? Dilma Laplania. Maybe it should go to uh, Bab. Vamalu El Laman. Who else? Right? So who else means, uh, yeah, like wh- whoever you just suggested is the one. Vamar Allah. And then he told us on this, Im Roy Luyarsha, if the one who he said, who else referring to was his son, then like the Mishun Yerusha, then he takes it as Yerusha. In other words, that was the case. It wasn't like that you just said Allah in this case. You would have said Allah but you, you asked us, okay, if that person who was suggested who should receive it, and, he, and the guy, the, the guy dying said, uh, who else should it go to? Right? He wanted to give to that person. So if he was someone, let's say his son, then he guy can go ahead and accept the entire thing. But if not, then if it's a neighbor, then he only gets the matan. And Amrle, so he said to them, Yes, hey, hey, yes, this is actually this was the case, and that's why I said it in this funny way. So Lamai Hilka says, So what's the Navkimina whether it was given to uh, Bab either as a excuse me, as a Yerusha or as a Matana? Well, yeah, I'm good. So so uh so so Lamai Hilka says, if the guy was his son and therefore it became was his inheritance, then this is a Yerusha. And therefore, if there was a widow, she would be able to go ahead and collect her, her uh should be sustained from his, his nachasim. Vim lav, and let's say it was a neighbor, then it was his neighbor, then she cannot, the, 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 the wife would not be able to go ahead and eat from the estate, which now belongs to the neighbor, because it was given to him as a gift, uh, as the guy was dying. Samarle Rava, I understand. Migra Gara, I should be any worse, in other words, when it goes to the now be Yerusha, now is Midur Raisa, Amarta, Amanasa, Nizanim, Nechasa. The guy receives it, this, if it was a son, and he receives it, Midur Raisa, because Midur Raisa, a son of Eretz's father, nevertheless, the widow is able to go ahead and sustain herself in the Nechasa. The Matana, so a Matana, the Rabbanan over here, since the guy's a Shechidmira, Right, and he wants to give it away. Right, he and he just gives uh, instructions, and then he dies. It's considered to be like given over as a matana to the other person. Only the rabbanan. We allow that to happen. Matana the rabbanan lo koshkin. Certainly, the woman should be able to uh, to be able to be supported uh, from the estate. Tell him a rather. She gets a anyway. Yeah, so that's she has a ksuba. So no matter who he gives it to, she does. She have right to collect ksuba. So uh, in this case, so let me see for a second. So her right because everyone is reading. Um, what's the name? Uh, the uh, mm-hmm. uh, so uh, so 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 question. So so well, I think she gets Mazonas. I think the way it works is she gets Mazonas until, until, she, gets until she gets her Ksuba. Right. right? Different. So not saying she doesn't get her Ksuba. She says she's Mazonas. She gets right. from the property. Right. And then once she collects her Ksuba, then she's covered. Then she's done. Right. So, well, maybe a different so it could be. Right. So in other words, uh, mm-hmm. right. So, all right. So, what was the question? So, uh, no, 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 no. I'm saying. So, you wanted? Does she get her ksuba? Well, I, I think that she can go ahead and and, and eat mizonos until she sustains. And that was, she that doesn't necessarily want to go ahead and take it because then she doesn't get mizonos anymore. Right. So that means she still gets her ksuba, but in the other case, she would not get her ksuba because she's in a mizonos. Right. In this case, she would get her ksuba. Right, because she's being, um, right. Yeah. All right. So Elam Rava. So Rava says no. Because the Shalach Rav Acha Bar Rav Avia, the Diver Rabbi Yechem Bar Breika Nichsay Lecha. According to Rabbi Yechem Bar Breika, the person says Nichsay 
Lachrecha right? My nechassim will be to you. Notice he doesn't use the word matana, he doesn't use the Yerusha. He says, Nechse lecha. My possessions are to you. Lachrecha. And after you die, Laploni, it goes to somebody else. So im hayarishon roi liyarsho. So if the the first one who was given to was actually his son, ain l'sheni v'makam rishon klu. In other words, when the the when his son dies, the second guy does not get it. Rather, the yarshim of the rishon get it. In other words, basically the stipulation does not work. Klum l'shein l'ashon matana el l'ashon yerusha because this l'ashon nechse lecha is not a l'ashon of matana as a gift. If it was a gift, indeed, it was a gift with strings, and therefore it goes from A to B. But over here, once it's given as a yerusha, el l'ashon yerusha, right? The yerusha in the half second. Once something is a yerusha, he it. There's no half second. It can't go back to somebody else. But the guy, the guy said, "You get it, and when you die, it goes to uh, goes to to to, to Shimon." So the answer is no. Who is Savar Yeshua The 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 guy dying thought it as Hefsik, he was able to do it. However, Rachman Amar in the but the Torah says no, there is no Hefsik. If he if the if the son gets it, the Torah Yerusha, then when he dies, it does not go to somebody else. Rather, since he got his inheritance, it goes to his his heirs. And turn the page, top how dumb are the chavre? Someone says, just when Nixay Lacha, Nixay Lacha, Bacharech Loplani is given to you after I die. And then when you die, it will go to Loplani. Risha and Roy Liarsha. And the first one is, let's say, his son is fit to go out in the Yarshanim. And Havi Shachav, Risha, and the first guy dies. Also, Shane Katapa, the, the, the second, the, the other person, the second next to line came to claim it. So several of the come into Rebbe Lameimar Shini Nami Shakla. Maybe the second person should do it. Some are late. Dina Chatzta, right? You're you're a Dayan who's uh, uh you're not an expert, right? You're, you're divided. So um, Dina. So he says, "It's Dina Chatzta. How can Dina? Laf Hainu Kedushalach Rav Acha Bar Rav Avia." What about the case we just learned? We just learned that if it was Bataris Yerusha, then the guy, the Rishon, gets it. And if he dies, it doesn't go to the Shane. He rather goes to his own heirs. So, so uh, Kari he said about the Pasuk, Ani Hashem, Be'ita Hashem. And so I, right, you know, I'm Hashem, that in his time, it will it will hurry. In other words, there's a Pasuk referring to that by Tzadikim, when certain things are needed, it will so uh, it will happen in their time, and therefore there will be no takala happen about them. He was about to rule the wrong uh, halacha in the case, and he bumped into Rava, and Rava happened to correct him. So in other words, he said it was a good thing. Basically, you bumped into uh, you know into me because I was able to correct you, and I was you didn't go ahead and award uh, the estate to the wrong party. Fine, Nay Mishnah. Mishnah says. A person goes ahead and gives it over as a gift while he's alive to uh, to others, to the cat, right? And he leaves sons. What he has done, that's it. It works. It's over. I'm sorry? Uh, even if he's not. Uh, yeah, even if he's right. Right, because over here he's he's kaisa, right? He's kaisa, right? It's over, right? Or, or, or right, it could be also, but like normally the whole thing with shkimara is that there's no kinyan, there's no whatever. So he, it's it's even al dibur over here. Person he can gift away whatever he wants of his estate. So he gives it away. He gives all of his, his assets away before he dies. Or before he dies, because of, like that, I should go to the other right. So masha also also right the, that which was uh, done was done. However, uh, the ruchamim the, the chazal is not happy with him. Or shouldn't only lay mir im lo hayabon in the haygim. If let's say his sons were not uh, going in the derech Hashem, aim ben anoyim kashurah. If they were not acting properly, so zochul atov. It was a good move, right? That they both but rashayim. It's a good move. You took the money out of their hands. Say boilu meet ligi rabban ala the rishin only allah. Hmm. Did the Rabbanon, right? Do, do the Arab Shingomil and Arab Shingomil says, right? First, we said the Rabbanon say, you give away, the Chazal's not happy. Shingomil says, if he's a Russia, if the son is a Russia, then it, it is a good thing. So, do the Rabbanon agree with that part or not? So, touch back, listen, the Yasef and Yuezra, Yeloba and Yasef and Yuezra had a son. Shalaya no Yikashur that he did not behave appropriately. Havile Alisa, Havile Didari. Right, so he had, I guess, a purse full of dinarim. So come akadshe, he went ahead as makdish all of his his purse of gold, and therefore leaving his son nothing. His son was a Russian nothing. So azul. 
The guy went, he went off to college, uh, found a girl, and Nasiv Baz Gadil clearly uh, denied uh, Malka. So he went there and he married the daughter of the uh, the jeweler of the king. Mm -hmm. Right? So he married the daughter, and Alida, did they say that she he had a baby? All right, this is uh, really no need to mention it. So what do you do? He wanted to buy her a, 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 a push gift, as they say, right, for a baby present. So, Zavin, so he, what did he do? So Zavin, uh, he went there to buy her a fish. So Kara, and then he tore it up. He found a jewel in the fish that he bought for his wife. She said to him, Don't go ahead and bring it to the jeweler, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, my father's business, because why? They're going to go ahead and try and give you, they're going to lowball you, right? They're not going to pay you top dollar. Here's what you should do. Zeal, I'm to be the guy with Gizbar. Go by the Gizbar, Vloy Tashaimu. All right, go ahead and basically sell it to the Gizbar. Vloy Tashmiya At. And you should not go ahead and say, okay, I'm going to sell this to you for five, let's say, you know, five golden persons. Because by you just saying that, you could be, be makdish it for only five or whatever it is. And then they would. Uh, Right, then they were sell to them, and then they can pay much less. They won't give the the the, the value. His wife's not as fascinated here. Huh? His wife's not the same all this. She was telling him how to get the best value for the dollar, right? But she knew that halacha, okay? It's because her father's a jeweler. So, so Elish Shamia, you know, let them go ahead and appraise it. So he went up there, Shamua, and they went and he praised it. But Tlesar for thirteen purses, Al Yasa Dinari, thirteen purses of dinar. Right, remember his father had one. And they gave to Hektish. Now comes his mice. Uh, now he's basically selling something for 13 to Hektish. So I'm late. So they, so, so, so they said to him, so Sheva Ika, we only have seven purses of gold, right? We, uh, however, she's like, but we don't have the other six. So I'm alone, Sheva Havili. Okay, give me the seven. And she's Hari Hain Mukdash's Lashemine. The other six you guys can keep, that'll be Hektish. You can keep the change. A lot of change. That's a lot of change. But still, significantly more than he would have inherited from his father. How many of the The Omdu, the Kosvu, and they then they got up. They wrote Yosef ben Yehazir Hichnis Achas. Yosef ben Yehazir donated one purse of gold. Ubeno Hichnis Sheish, and his son donated six. In other words, his, his father was Makdish one, and he by saying keep the change of the last six is like donating to the temple six. Right, the Some say Yosef ben Yehazir Yichnei Achas. He put in one. But Beno Haitzi Sheva and his son mm -hmm. took out seven. Right, his father donated one. He took out seven. Now, when you call Amir Yichnei, by the fact he says that he gave Mechlal the Shapir of him. We see it's like it was everything was said and good. In other words, his father gave one thing to Tzedakah, and his son gave six. And now it seems to be praising, so it seems to be a good thing that he basically did not give his son his own goal, like praising him. Found the fish with the gold in it. Uh, but 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 they they wouldn't have uh, you know praised him with his son, right? They wouldn't have praised him with the son. So so the Gemara says, Adarab, the Kalamri By the fact it says right, he donated one and his son took out seven or took out yeah seven. Miklad to have right? It sounds like a derogatory thing. A son took out seven, in other words, he took out seven, and in other words, like you tried to to, to be Sitkus, but through your family, the hectic actually lost. Right, they 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 was taken out. Rather, we can't learn from over here what uh, the Rabbanon's view is. So my havila, so no, what is this good here now? So touch my clothes and dumber late. I'm sorry. She got the jewel, which was worth thirteen. Who got the jewel? Hektish did. Right, and they only paid. Right. Mm -hmm. So I'm not sure really what's the Hektish is losing out there. Hektish got the jewel, which was incredible. well, right, correct, right. But they got the jewel that was worth thirteen, which is going to right. So, so, so Toshma, Domer Le Shmuel, the Rav Yehuda, Shinana, sharp one, Loiti Havi be Avude Achsanasa, and you should not be around, Avure Achsanasa, you should not be around when they basically they skip uh, generations. In other words, what basically when a father does not bequeath it over to a son, don't be around because that's not what Chazal wanted. Chazal wanted. So you see, it's a bad thing. Even from a good uh, from a good son to a bad son, you shouldn't be around. In other words, even if the guy, the father says, hey, give it all to my good son and don't give any to my Russian son, that's also not a good thing to witness 
because it's not how the Torah was meant. It can certainly be brother bars. And certainly if the father left it to his daughter and not to his son, certainly he'll be upset. So there's a mice with the person did not have uh, uh, good kids. They were shy. So Amar because the chazal of Yonasam Mazil, he went and he wrote over his his money to Yonasam Mazil. So Ma'asa Yonasam Mazil. So what did Yonasam Mazil do with his estate? So Machar Shlish, he sold a third of it, got some cash. Vehikti Shlish, and he he donated a third of it. Vehikze Lebanav Shlish, and then he gave a third to the guy's sons, who he the whole thing was trying to avoid. And Baal of Shama, and my call of the Milo, and the Shama comes uh, coming with his uh, with his stick ready to swing. In other words, he wasn't happy with what he did. And that was the whole point that he gave it to uh, Yonasam Mazil was that to avoid the guy's sons who were shy. Now you're going to go ahead and give a third of it to them. Samalei Shama, Imata Yochol Aitzi as Masha Macharti, Umashi Kashi, Ata Yochol Aitzi Masha Kazarti. If you're able to go ahead and right, you know, uh, undo my sale. And undo that of the third of it, and undo that which I was maktish a third of it. Then you could also undo my one third of giving back to the sons. And him love, and if not, who to the page? If not, then you have no choice. In other words, if it's a gift, then it's a gift for everything. Right. If it's a gift given to me. There's no strings attached. If it's a gift mm-hmm. given to me, then I can go ahead and sell what I wanted. It. I can be maktish mm-hmm. what I want, or I can give to the guy's sons for whatever I wanted. It. So Omar. He took Lai Ben Uziel. He took Lai Ben Uziel. Right? He he he. Uh, 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 Uziel. He basically defeated me uh, this time. So he say, "May cut my sir." So in the beginning, what did he think? Why did he think that? Uh, now he can go ahead and basically return it. So Mishu, my said the base corner. Like my said base corner. The time of the Mishu, my said base corner. The Yechad Shaya of my my dear Hamena. There's a guy. His father made a nether. I will not get any hana for my son. So the son grew up. He got married a little later, paid for his own wedding. So Hanav, must see, but no, and his son was getting married. Yomar the Chaveri said to his friend, "Hare Chad Sir Vesuda Nosin Lechav Matana." I'm gonna get. So he goes to his neighbor. My father can't come to my wedding because he promised not to get Hanav from me. So I'm gonna. I'll give you the wedding hall and the caterer and all that. That will be yours. And then, since it's yours, my father will not be getting Hanav from me by eating at the Suda. Be getting Hanav from you. But he didn't say that. He just said, okay, my suit, my, 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 the, the chutz and suitable go to you. And the matana. Veinach, right? Veinach, lefanacha, elokadeshi, of the yachle bano. And basically, the only reason why he's doing this is mm-hmm. for the father and son to be able to go ahead and eat together, partake of the suda. The suda, some are low. Im shali hein. So the guy, the neighbor says, okay, if it's mine, hare hein mukdashin. It's hektish. You gave it to me. I'm not letting you use it for your wedding. I just gave it to hektish. Wedding's off. Wedding's off. I didn't give it to you for you to be Don't reason why he gave me is to use this trick that you and your father could basically go around this nether. And therefore, there will be a, an, an, an Aveira basically on your head for doing that together. And it doesn't work. Right. It's protecting you from doing everything or by giving back fish. Right. Exactly. So, call Matan Shaina So, any gift that is given, right, that if he's mocked this shit, that it's not hectic, is not considered to be a gift. And therefore, that was the half mean in this case. When, he, when you, that was the whole reason why he gave it to Yonas and Zeal for him not to go ahead and give it to the kids. And in other words, therefore, he wouldn't be able to mock this shit. The whole point of it was, it was like strings attached, that he wouldn't be able to go ahead. So the Havian was, there's strings attached, and since you couldn't be, you know, mocked this shit, so the, or since you couldn't give it back to the kids, so therefore that was a condition of the Matana. But then he says, no, mm-hmm. once it's a gift, and I can go ahead and sell it, right. I can go ahead and be mocked this shit, then mm-hmm. um, this you material becomes strings attached, and then I, if he wanted, if he wanted to mm-hmm. choose to do so, he mm-hmm. could have given it back to the, to the guy, to, to, to the bad kids. All right, we'll stop here with two dots. Check, everybody. Everybody have a wonderful day. And, uh,